Lucy says, "Bringing English to those who lack resources." When Studio Classroom founder Doris Brome took a trip to Daidong in 2013, she noticed something disturbing. The rural areas had a severe shortage of English teachers. Teachers who had been assigned to rural areas were leaving after a few years. That meant rural students were falling behind in English. Upon learning about the problem, Brome returned to Taipei. Resolved to find a way to help, she asked a team to create English materials suitable for rural students. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Language Lab. I'm Jack. 先来看 resource 这个名词，意思是教材或是资源。譬如 ，our geography teacher uses different resources to teach us about the various rocks and dirt that are found on Earth. 我们地理老师用不同的资源来教我们认识地球上已经发现的各种岩石和土壤，或者是 What resources do you use to teach your students French? 你用什么教材来教学生法语呢 ？Resource 的形容词是 resourceful， 意思是资源丰富的。比如 Desert tribes are very resourceful and can live in very harsh conditions quite well. 沙漠中的原民部落有着非常丰富的资源，可以在非常恶劣的条件下生活得很好。接着来看 assign 这个动词，意思是分配或者指派。譬如 ，Brian has been assigned to investigate the murder of the two tourists. Brian 被派去调查那两名游客的谋杀案，或者是 All the freshmen were assigned dormitory rooms on the top floor of the building. 所有新生都被分配去住大楼顶层的宿舍。再举个例句 ，Our professor assigned each student a different research project. 我们教授分配给每个学生不同的研究计划。All right, let's get back to our teachers. Hi, friends, and welcome to Info Cloud. Now, Rex, you love spicy food, don't you? Well, I went to this Korean restaurant with my family yesterday, and it has your name written all over it. Really? The name of the restaurant is Rex. That's awesome. <laughs> No, no. When I said the restaurant has your name written all over it, I meant that you would love the restaurant and the food. Oh, I see. You're saying the restaurant would be a good match for me because I love spicy food. Yes. Now, when we say something has someone's name written all over it, it implies that they match someone's interests, likes, or passions. Well, I know something that has your name written all over it: Cold Stone ice cream. Oh yes, you know me. I love their ice cream. Well, friends, we hope you love learning English, and InfoCloud has your name written all over it. 很多时候我们会看到一样东西，某人应该会很喜欢。你可以用今天分享的用语 "has someone's name written all over it" 来形容。Has someone's name written all over it? 字面上就是某人的名字已经写满在那样东西上面，意思就是那样东西完全是那个人会喜欢或热爱的东西。例如 ，That restaurant has your name written all over it. 那家餐厅的食物完全是你的口味，你会爱死它。Lucy says she wanted materials. That could be used in the absence of English teachers. The result, the Lucy Says Learning System. This easy-to-use, low-tech English learning system teaches basic English through games, songs, and conversations. In 2015, Studio Classroom rolled out the product. They provided it to 41 rural elementary schools in and around Jai and Hualien. Since then, many after-school programs in these areas have started to use this product as well. 好，接下来来看 roll out 这个片语动词，意思是推出。譬如 
Phone companies often roll out new phones every couple of years. 电话公司常常每隔几年就推出新款式的手机。Roll out 的字面意思是把卷起来的东西展开。譬如 ，The teacher rolled out a huge piece of paper for the students to draw on. 这位老师把一张很大的纸展开来给学生画画。再看一个例句。Several balls rolled out of the bag, and the kids began to chase them. 有好几个球从袋袋子里滚了出来，结果孩子们就开始追着他们跑。最后，我们来看 elementary 这个形容词，意思是初级的或是基本的。譬如 ，Camilla attended elementary school in a little town in the south. Camilla 去呃去南部小镇的小学上学。或者是 Esther made a very elementary mistake when she was doing the math problem. Esther 在做数学题时竟然犯了一个非常初阶的错误。再看一句 ，Allison is taking elementary German this year. Allison 今年要开始学初阶的德语。All right, let's get back to our teachers. 我现在是小学六年级。然后我在三年级的时候开始在学校接触到英文，然后在一开始我在学校虽然听得懂，但是就是很讨厌英文这个科目，不喜欢英文课，其实是因为我觉得英文上课方式会有点无聊，然后又有点难背，感觉全部都是要硬要背的，然后在课本上也只有英文，但是它没有声音或者是。其他图片的记忆方式。自从四年级老师开始有上 Lucy Says 这套课程之后，我觉得老师上课的方式很活泼。然后 Lucy Says 里面又是有音乐性的一些歌曲，就让我对英文的感觉大大的提升。然后自从开始上了 Lucy Says 这套课程之后，我就开始从原本的很低分，开始慢慢的变成九十几分。我觉得上了 Lucy Says 这套课程对我来说很有帮助。我以前会害怕开口说英文，但是现在已经不会了。现在的我想把英文学好，因为比如说传福音或者是出去外面旅游，英文都是一个很重要的言语。Well, hello, Junior. Thanks for finally coming to visit. Good to see you. Well, it's good to see you too, Grandpa. But Why do you live so far from the city? Well, I love green grass and fresh air. <laughs> the countryside is very suitable for me. But, Grandpa, your house is so small. Well, <laughs> I'm small too. This cabin is just the right size. <laughs> I don't need a big house. This place is suitable for all my needs. <laughs> But it's up in the mountains. You don't have any neighbors nearby. Isn't that great? <laughs> Nobody bothers me. I have peace and quiet. It's the perfect place for me. Very suitable. <laughs>、uh, there's no electricity, no Wi-Fi,、uh, no modern conveniences. Well, I'm an old-fashioned grandpa. This lifestyle fits me. It's perfectly suitable. How can you live like this, though? Well, it's not suitable for everyone, but I love it here. What was that? Was that a mouse? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. This area is suitable for all kinds of creatures. Rats, snakes, spiders. <laughs> oh, well, it's not suitable for me. <laughs> goodbye, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, goodbye, Junior. Thanks for visiting. <laughs>